May those who are the embodiments of love immortal bless with their help and guidance this society founded to be a channel for their work. May they inspire it with their wisdom, strengthen it with their power, and energize it with their activity. And with those words, I declare the convention officially open. Thank you.
Africa East and Central. The section has four countries, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Zambia. Some members joined the online talks organized by other sections, but most could not because of high cost of infrastructure and internet connectivity. The 49th annual convention was held in April 2022 at the Nairobi Lodge on the world at the threshold of change, with the option for members to participate physically or online. The guest of honor was Navin B. Shaw, chairman of the Pan-African Theosophical Federation. The keynote address was delivered by me, Mr. Narendra Shaw, general secretary. Professor P. Krishna gave a public lecture on freedom from the self, and Charlton Romero on Papillon, on the wings of change, followed by a beautiful instrumental musical session. South Africa. Due to COVID-19, attendance in lodge meetings was low. Since August, there were visitors in Johannesburg and Pretoria, but no new members. The website was revamped to advertise theosophy, announce lodge programs, and attract new members. Meditation classes will start at several lodges, including weekend retreats. The focus is on HPB's Voice of the Silence. Workshops on IK Timney's The Way of Self-Discovery are planned. Reading material is sent to members each month. A long-term program with focus on purification, sensitization, control, and development of the bodies is planned. West Africa. The section is facing serious financial challenges, and measures are being taken to attract new young members and retain them using social media by placing short write-ups on the main issues of life and how theosophy addresses them. The annual convention that has not been held since 2017 will take place in December 2022 and it will concentrate on strategies to energize the section. One idea is to present the basic concepts as short study materials with local examples in order to make it easily accessible to newcomers and members. Central America consists of the Tioto Lodge and the Blavatsky Study Center. Courses were conducted on the Secret Doctrine by HPB, At the Feet of the Master, by J. Krishnamurti and Light on the Path by Mabel Collins, and the study is being broadcast on Facebook. An introductory course on theosophy was conducted, and conferences and discussions on Radha Bernier's human regeneration was also held. TS in Argentina continued the diffusion of theosophy using online platforms. The Facebook page following went up from 15,000 in 2021 to 35,000 in 2022. The virtual study group continued its work during the summer with only a short break at the end of the year. The Theosophical Order of Service did an online interview of TOS leaders in France. Lodges returned to face-to-face -face meetings. A summer school was organized in January 2022 with the theme, Spirituality and Self-Transformation. How do we create an opening to renew ourselves and live fully? Which was a beautiful experience after two years without face-to-face -face activity. A winter school on the path of the Theosophist was held in July 2022 at the San Rafael Theosophical Center. The national meeting occurred at Rio Corto on the mission of the TS through time and members from all over the country attended. Four books were printed in Spanish during the year. Platicas Theosóficas by J. Viñas, La Luz Interna by R. Meta, El Llamado a las Alturas by G. Hodson, and El Poblamiento de la Tierra by G. Barborca. One is under publication, Hojas de un Viejo Diario by H. S. Alcott. In Bolivia, there are three centers and five branches which carried out fraternal work with a special attention to study, research, and dissemination. The National Library was officially inaugurated in September. Most of the books were inherited from Boris de Zirkov, 
via his disciple, Sister Dora Crest. TS in Brazil has 33 lodges and 24 study groups. And despite the restrictions imposed during the pandemic period, the virtual work developed has brought satisfactory results in terms of the dissemination of theosophical thought and the addition of 82 new members. National and international events were held, such as the 41st Theosophical Summer School, in a hybrid format, with the theme, Karma and Regeneration, Lessons for the Present Moment, as well as the 28th International Theosophical School and Winter Seminar with the team, Paths to the Encounter of the Self, both attended by 139 registrants. The virtual format facilitated worldwide participation and access to international speakers with live translation. Study groups, meetings, and other events continued mostly online, with some lodges and study groups resuming their in-person meetings. Sophia Magazine's 94th issue came out, marking 20 years of circulation. A website is being developed to disseminate theosophy and enable the new Theosophical School Project. Canada. The preparatory work for the website, the Facebook page, and the YouTube channel were done. These tools were used to introduce theosophical teachings to new people and train members all over the country, as distance was no longer an obstacle. The annual General Assembly and the annual convention were held online. A seminar on A.E. Powell's The Solar System was conducted. White Lotus Day was celebrated as usual. Chile. From September 2021, in-person activities resumed for members only. Basic theosophy courses for newcomers and non-members were conducted. After five classes, the attendees had the option of joining the TS. The motto for the year was Compassion, Inner Work to Life. The commemoration of the official TS celebrations was done in person and online. The three lodges continued their work, basing their studies on First Principles of Theosophy by C. Jinaraja Dasa, The Key to Theosophy by H.P.B., and The Science of Yoga and Self-Culture, by I.K. Timney. Some members gave voluntary presentations on different subjects. The National Public Conference was held in August 2022. A members-only study group was focused on the secret doctrine. Some members joined the Spanish courses of the School of the Wisdom at Adyar. Colombia. The study groups in Bogota, Colombia, broadcast their weekly activities online to other cities. Different theosophical books and subjects were studied. The online activities of the Inter-American Theosophical Federation and Spain were followed. Several introductory courses were held for newcomers who later became active members of the TS and serious students of theosophy. Online meetings were held weekly with talks by special lecturers, worldwide TS members, and other spiritual esoteric societies. The quarterly magazine, Seleccion Theosophica, completed issue number 409 and was made available globally. Gabriel Burgos Suarez writes weekly about a topic of interest for the students of theosophy. 48 texts have been published so far in the Colombian Theosophical Pamphlet. Costa Rica. There are four lodges, and despite the pandemic, the membership increased. The lodges promoted the study of books, delivery of lectures, and International Memorial Day celebrations online, facilitating global speakers and attendants. An introductory course on Theosophy was held online, too. A new quarterly magazine, Sila, Revista Costarricense de Teosofía, was born and two issues were published. Though studies in lodges and other on-site activities were affected in Cuba, interchange of information and theosophical studies continued via WhatsApp groups and Facebook, and some in-person activities could also be held. 
the online quarterly Revista Teosófica Cubana was published without interruption. In January, the annual convention was held with the theme, The Yoga of Beauty. Official commemorations of the TS were celebrated. The summer school of the Cuban section was held in July on the theme, Returning to the Great Sources. The studies were suspended during the month of August and each lodge offered a public conference about different theosophical teachings on Saturdays. In August, a special celebration honored the 70th anniversary of the foundations of Lodge Devonir. In the Dominican Republic, members participated in the commemoration of the official dates with the Inter-American Theosophical Federation. About 40 students attended the online introductory and advanced courses in theosophy offered using the Socratic methodology. In November, Gabriel Burgos gave a talk, Life After Death. Seminars were held on the keys of inner knowledge and the awakening of the consciousness in October. The maturity of the soul fulfilling the purpose of life was facilitated by Isaac Howley and Enrique Rague. Weekly healing rituals were performed. Construction of a center for theosophical study was started in October on land donated by a family of theosophy students. The section has 12 lodges and four study groups which meet once a week. Thrice a week, two lodges and a study group hold public talks. Intense work on dissemination of theosophy was done via the website, two Facebook pages, and three YouTube channels. Theosofía en México, Sección Mexicana de la Sociedad Theosófica, and Sociedad Theosófica en México. Also, the magazines Tirosofía, Dharma, and Duda were published. Peru. The two lodges conducted their studies, celebration of important days, and public talks online. A total of 16 public talks were held during the year. Two courses were offered. Basic Course of Theosophy in November 2021 and Basis of Esoteric Philosophy from February to April. Puerto Rico. Most meetings were held online. The agency offers a Sunday conference on varied themes related to theosophy. The lodges studied the seven dimensions of man by Pablo Sender, and Self Culture by I.K. Taimney. The members also participated online in seminars by Gaspar Torres Martinez from Crotona and United States of America. There were many discussions about the best options to expand outreach and achieve goals among the section, lodge, and study center leaders. In-person meetings have resumed along with the online option. Speeches, lectures, workshops, classes over a month, study groups, and so on have gone online. Some streamed on YouTube, adding up to about 5,000 participants during the year. The AV department produced about 185 new video programs on theosophy and related subjects. Available through the website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Vimeo channel. The TSA site in archive.org had almost 30,000 hits, and theosophy.wiki had around 40,000 page views per month by 15,000 users. A data storage tape library was implemented to store backups of all documents in the section. The Alcott Memorial Library reopened to the public in September 2021. Quest Magazine carries articles focusing on theosophical content and section activities. Theosophical Publishing House in Wheaton produced 16 audiobooks available through Amazon Audible. The prison program continued with over 500 completions since its inception. Uruguay. The branches studied the secret doctrine and principles of learning by J. Krishnamurti. Regular video exhibitions and group discussions were done. A shared online library with Spanish books and magazines was maintained. 
No public conferences were organized, and members were invited to attend conferences organized by the Inter-American Federation and other Spanish-speaking countries. The association continued to focus on three lines of activity. Collection of tickets for donating wheelchairs, collection of plastic caps to donate to animal shelters, and Qigong classes for healthier and more comprehensive life. Venezuela. The lodges meet weekly and a half hour of meditation for peace is held in every meeting. The two study centers studied the following books online every week. The Bhagavad Gita, the Annie Besant version and Swami Vivekananda, and Quantum Physics and Emotions by Anna Belen Lopez Solano, the Mahabharata, and the Secret Doctrine. The agency consists of four countries, Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, and Myanmar. Although there is no physical presence in China, it is the area of greatest growth as a result of propaganda by the Singapore Lodge. It had weekly lodge meetings and conducted a course in theosophy twice last year for popularizing theosophy and the induction of new members. The lodge was focused on a Chinese website, a public blog, Asia Theosophy, with over 1,000 followers, a Facebook account, an online bookstore, book translation, and video lectures in Chinese and Chinese subtitling. A course in theosophy was broadcast in Chinese. The Selangor Lodge in Malaysia was open every Saturday to members and the public. Members took part in online meetings of the Philippines. In Australia, the second half of 2021 was still severely affected by the COVID-19 restrictions. As 2022 unfolded, there was a new sense of optimism and a gradual revival of activities across the lodges, branches, and groups. The Australian members, including the many volunteers involved in committees and subcommittees, have striven to keep the mission of our society alive and well despite the many challenges of the past two years. In April 2022, the first School of Theosophy since 2019 was conducted at the Springbrook Retreat Center in Queensland. Linda Oliveira and Pedro Oliveira presented the classes, which contemplated selected verses from the Voice of the Silence. Planning for the annual Australian convention to be held at St. Mark's College at the University of Adelaide in January 2023 is underway. This will be the first... Bangladesh. The book, The Practice of Theosophy in Bangladesh, was published in October 2020. Some members of TS in Bangladesh joined the online activities of Adyar, the Philippines, India, and others. The lodges in Bangladesh organized joint meetings of members. India. Admission fees and annual dues from members were abolished to encourage youth membership. The evolution of online communication during COVID-19 enabled around 132 programs such as lectures, discussions, seminars, and so on, and better attendance, especially from youth members. The publishing of the monthly Indian Theosophist was started in the Hindi language also, increasing the readership in North India. The Dr. Radha Burnye Award for Theosophist of the Year went to U.S. Pandey, president of UP and Uttarakhand Federation. The 130th National Convention was held online last December, presided by Dr. Deepapati, and inaugurated by me, Pradeep Gohil, General Secretary of the Indian Section. Dr. Annie Besant's 174th birth anniversary was celebrated in October 2021 with Linda Oliveira speaking on Annie Besant and the Way of the Warrior. The second annual Dr. Radha Bernier lecture was done by Dr. Deepapati also in October on Radha Bernier and Practical Theosophy. North India study class was organized online for three days also in October with me speaking on personality and the inner life, tuning the soul's instrument. 
the 146th Foundation Day was celebrated online last November on Wisdom, the Inspiration of the Founders Challenge. Adyar Day was observed online in February with the theme Theosophy and Truth. The 98th Easter Conference was held in April on From the Known to the Unknown. White Lotus Day was observed in May. There were no in-person workshops or study classes. The Himalayan Study Center, Bowali, could conduct only two camps during summer due to travel restrictions. The Young Indian Theosophist Group organized 50 online sessions. Adyar Day was celebrated in February. The website theosophy-india.org gives section information and details of upcoming programs. The TOS rendered services directly to needy communities this year. All the events at TS in Indonesia continued via online means. In New Zealand, there were meetings focused on exploring theosophy, science, and meditation themes. The annual convention was replaced by online seminars every Sunday from January to April and June to July, with several international presenters on science and the ancient wisdom theosophy. The School of Theosophy was held in August on exploring meditation practice and the science of self-realization. Immersion weekends happened in September on the theme, Everything Arises and Everything Passes. Branch seminars focusing on core areas of Theosophy continued. Several members received scholarships to attend national events. Theosophy in Today's World, an online course comprising of seven short video lessons exploring Theosophical perspectives, was available for free at udemy.com. TPH Auckland published Initiates, Initiations, and The Path, Bible Allegories Unveiled, and Poems of Bliss, all by Jeffrey Hodson and Mystical Christianity, an ebook on Theosophy World. Theosophia continued to be popular worldwide. In the Philippines, the National Convention was held online in November 2021 on living the Theosophical life in the world today. The Theo X Sophia talk started in February and happened every month, with short talks followed by discussions. The TOS meets monthly to inspire and exchange ideas in the service area. Regular online joint lodge meetings continued monthly with international participation. There were free space youth center activities, monthly guided in meditations and community yoga too. The Russian Wisdom School included speakers from the Philippines and translation into Russian. Some lodges also conducted online activities, regular issues of the Theosophical Digest, the Philippine Theosophist, and Peace Ideas continued to be published. The Singapore Lodge was given license to print a few Jeffrey Hodson books. Online classes changed to in-person next year. Service activities like feeding programs and calamity assistance continued. The propagation work continued via the website, Facebook, and YouTube. Austria. The three lodges offered weekly lectures on subjects based on classical theosophy teachings and related subjects. Lectures are regularly placed on the TS Austria website. In July to August, some members attended the summer school of the German TS, the Hartmut Group. They also get the German Adyar magazine published three times a year. Belgium. The lodges continued publishing newsletters and organizing meetings, online and in person. National activities included White Lotus Day, Founders Day, Adyar Day, and Annie Besant Day. Study groups discuss works from Besant, Krishnamurti, Taimni, Barborka, and Ariel Sanat on a regular basis. Healing and peace meditations were conducted in cooperation with Belgian TOS. Dr. Barbara Hebert, General Secretary from the U.S., gave a talk in June on Theosophy in Action, Dealing with Life's Difficulties. England and Wales. 
There were 28 online Sunday evening lectures, attracting an average of 50 people, including non-members. Professor Ravi Ravindra addressed the first actual meeting at the headquarters on the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. An online monthly link meditation during full moon was happening since September. The lodges and centers continued to hold public meetings and private study groups, some online and some hybrid. The 39th Congress of the Federation of Theosophical Societies in Europe, the EFTS, took place after a gap of two years at the University of York on healing oneself, healing the world. The three international officers of the TS participated, Tim Boyd online, Maria Artema and Nancy Seacrest in person, as well as delegates from across the world, including young members. The event was live streamed and can be viewed on YouTube. Another event was the Spring Conference on Tranquility and Transformation. The Trans Pennine Conference took place after a gap of two years, entitled Madame Blavatsky, The Lightbringer. The newly styled quarterly magazine, Esoterica, came out in September. In Finland, the main event of the year was the summer school in Krevola in July with Pablo and Michelle Sender from the USA on the Masters of Wisdom and the Path of Discipleship. The summer school had guests from Estonia, Sweden, Ireland, and Italy. Other events were a course on music, meditation, and health, and a symposium Love Unites. In Estonia, the annual winter seminar was held in Tartu in January and the autumn study camp in Eikvidu in August. The international convention was held online. Members from Finland and Estonia participated in the youth gathering at Narden in June and the European Congress in York. Public lectures continued every Sunday throughout the year, excluding the Christmas season. The library was open on Sundays. Young members and friends continued regular meetings in Helsinki and online. TOS in Finland organized a spring festival to raise funds to support the Alcott Memorial High School, the Social Welfare Center, and the Boys Hostel at Adyar. Tri-weekly newsletters, a Facebook page, and the quarterly Theosophy magazine communicates with members and friends. The Letters from the Master of Wisdom, first series by C. Janara Jadasa, was published in the Finnish language, including audio material on SoundCloud. France. Bi-monthly hybrid courses and online meditation sessions attracted a core of interested participants. Members participated in person in a silent retreat on Discovering Happiness through freeing oneself of fear in April. Founders Day, Adyar Day, White Lotus Day were all celebrated. Online studies with the Belgian and Spanish members on the Mahatma Letters continued. A study group on fundamental theosophical teachings for new members was launched in 2021. National Convention on How to Grow Spiritually in a Changing World took place in June. Online presence includes Facebook, YouTube, and weekly newsletters. Editions Adyar ships theosophical and spiritual books in French globally. The library was open to the public in October. The magazine Le Lotus Bleu had 10 issues. Southern and the Northern German meetings took place again without Corona. The main event was the summer school in July with lectures on the first stanza of Zion. The program had many facets, talks on the work of Jesus Christ, the pineal gland, our third eye, the Mahabharata as an example of the causes of war, the mysteries of an afterlife, the constitution of the inner man by H.P. Blavatsky, etc., and videos of film clips from Bollywood, India. Study groups have took place on the stanzas of Zion and on Tarot as the hero's journey, a parable for man's journey through life. The magazine Adyar is published thrice a year. 
A special publication of the Translated Convention 2021 talks is planned for December 2022. Greece. Till April 2022, only online joint lodge meetings were held. Since May 2022, hybrid meetings happened in Athens. The TS official commemoration dates were celebrated online. On White Lotus Day, there were speeches on HPB's life and passages were read from the Bhagavad Gita and the Light of Asia. The quarterly magazine, Ilisos, is published regularly. Annie Besant and C.W. Leadbeater's book, Talks on the Path of Occultism, Volume 3, was published in Greek. A new lodge, Hyperion, was formed in September 2022. Hungary. There is one operating lodge and monthly meetings are held. The section has started disseminating theosophy in Slovakia and the Hungarian speaking areas of Romania and Transylvania. The TOS supported the Ukrainian refugees. It also operates a virtual healing group. There were 15 public lectures. The YouTube video channel Hidden Side of Our World offers over 100 lectures. And has 2,300 registered members. Three new audiobooks were published. Many contemporary theosophical articles were translated to Hungarian. Information and help was provided to members on building contacts around the world. Practical Spirituality by John Sell is being published in Hungarian. In Ireland, members had weekly online meetings with study notes, messages, and quotations from inspiring text. They could join online TS programs, receive e magazines, and had access to the regular communications from ADR, European School of Theosophy, TS Philippines, Crotona, TS in Ukraine, and the Russian TS. 13 new members who found the society through the website joined. In May the 15th, All Ireland Theosophical Convention on Thought Power and Entire Potential was held in Dublin. Italy. In person activities were restarted. The website brought in many visitors. Presence on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on was well structured and informative, including TOS updates. The YouTube channel does live streaming and hosts recording of events. The monthly e newsletter covers 4,500 subscribers. The Young Theosophist Group is active. The TOS promotes projects in Italy, Ukraine, etc. The books published were Education as Service by J. Krishnamurti, Invisible Helpers by C.W. Leadbeater, and I Am Life Impersonal. By Joseph Benner. The 107th Congress was held in June in Vicenza on Theosophy and Spiritual Masters. The Ascona Theosophical Seminary was organized in March in collaboration with the European Federation of the Theosophical Societies and the Swiss Agency on There is No Way to Peace, Peace is the Way. Two editions of the introductory course on Theosophy and the TS were organized during 2022 with 70 participants. A recurring event, Wednesdays with the TS, aiming to improve the contact with the outside world, had the participation of 100 people over 18 meetings during the year. The Netherlands. The section works closely with the International Theosophical Center. ITC in Narden, the European home of the TS. Since 2019, all national activities have been on the theme Exploring the Powers Latent in Humankind, the third object of the Theosophical Society. Working with Energies in October 2021, Death as a Part of Life in February, and Life After Death in April. The supernatural will take place in October. In June, the International Seminar 
held at ITC Narden on exploring powers latent in humankind, as also the silent retreat, Spiritual Powers in Humankind with Tran T. Kim Dew. The website helps members and general public with information. A bi-monthly newsletter is mailed to more than a thousand subscribers. In September, a special book, Zinj Is, Being Is, by Jap Vos, an artist and graphic designer, was published. Theosophia, the quarterly magazine, has articles and activity summaries of lodges and centers. Strumen, the local group, and the Dharma Lodge held a lecture series related to the course program from Theosophical World Resource Center, divided into 12 lecturers. There were some individual members also. Some of the topics studied were the three objects of the TS, the constitution of man, John of the Cross, sacred geometry in dreams, reincarnation, death and after death, the Upanishads, among others. Portugal. The traditional commemorative days were celebrated and regular fortnightly activities continued both online and in person by lodges and study groups. These sessions included traditional public talks, panel discussions, and group discussions on a wide variety of themes. The website continues to be a good reference for interested persons. A regular newsletter was published and social networks used to reach the larger public. Russia. An all-Russian online lecture series continued successfully with 51 meetings during the year, including 10 with international speakers. It began with a project called Reading H.P. Blavatsky's Articles Together. A meeting was held with T.S. Ukraine themed on the way to peace in April, showing concern about the war. The 10th All-Russian Theosophical Conference was held in April. The weekly online meditation course, Theosophy and Life, continued. A new monthly project, Musical Meditations, with classical music elements of astrology was started. The Russian translation of the Theosophist magazine is published regularly. In July, Wisdom School 2022, a joint event with the TS in the Philippines was held, dedicated to the gurus of humanity and the spiritual way. The Theosophical Forum in Smolensk had a nature summer camp in June. The first Theosophical meeting in Moscow took place dedicated to the new year. In November 2021, the National Congress was held on the importance of Theosophical Fellowship. Over 400 new videos were uploaded to the channel. Other social networks include Facebook, Kontakte, the Russian version of Facebook, and Telegram. The membership in Scotland remained constant despite challenges. Public meetings were resumed and attendance at public meetings became normal in response to a varied and interesting program covering subjects related to theosophy, such as quantum physics and human consciousness, the spiritual dimension to performance art, astrology, alchemy, sacred geometry, and the powers latent within. In Slovenia, the association with four lodges and two study centers continued their work online so that members from all lodges could attend the 32 meetings which were held. All Memorial Days were celebrated online, viz. Annie Besant's birthday, Foundation Day, and Adyar Day. The White Lotus Day celebration was the first opportunity for the members to meet physically. The magazine Theosophical Thought is now in digital format. Spain Basic courses with an overview of the general theosophical concepts for beginners were conducted and texts made available in Spanish. Several branches combined study with meditation and retreats. The TOS did active service work. Annual activities included a silent retreat, 
Iberian Days, and Summer School. The 15th Silent Retreat was held online in December with 75 participants on The Secret Keys to Spiritual Growth. The Iberian Days, Jornadas Ibericas, were hosted by Portugal in April on Who Are We? with 100 participants from Portugal, Spain, and other sections. The centenary of the section was celebrated during the summer school with 70 people in attendance. Sweden. The free quarterly magazine Tidlos Vistum, Timeless Wisdom, continued. Activities included study groups, lectures, member gatherings, and commemorations of international TS dates. The summer school was held near Stockholm on To Live in the Now. The bookshop in Stockholm operates three times a week with a summer break. The Facebook group and the website continue to be active, as well as the new YouTube channel. The section supports a school project in Goa, India called Mango Tree for children from the slum. The European Theosophical Seminar in Ascona, Switzerland was held after a gap of two years on There is no way to peace, peace is the way in March, partnering with Italy. Lectures, discussions, and a Q&A session were presented. Internet activities include articles on Ticino's blog slash magazine, Facebook, and Twitter. The Italian Theosophical Magazine and the books The Fire of Creation by Vanderloo and The Discipleship Trail by Annie Besant are distributed free. The groups met weekly online and have resumed monthly in-person meetings. Books such as Self Culture by Taimini and The First and Last Freedom by J. Krishnamurti, among others, were studied. Ukraine in spite of the war with Russia, the work continued. All branches held meetings and classical theosophical literature was studied. In November 2021, the 18th National Convention on Cycles of Awareness took place online. Herald of Light Day, the 191st birthday of HPB, was celebrated in August. From October to March, the lectures Ancient Wisdom for the Curious were uploaded onto YouTube. The Facebook page, active since 2016, has over 2,000 subscribers. A school of lecturing skills was started to encourage young lecturers and improve existing lecturers of the society. A new Telegram social network was established to attract a new audience. Scientific Group was active during the year. Two issues of the bilingual Ukrainian English e-magazine, Theosophy and Science, were published. The e-magazine Svitosh had six issues. An e-newsletter and the website continue. A joint project with Russian Theosophists for the translation into Russian and e-publication of The Theosophist continues. TOS activities included assistance to refugees, internally displaced persons, residents of territories liberated from occupation, children, disabled people, the wounded in hospitals, and animals. Weekly healing rituals are conducted, as also a weekly specially designed ritual to help the souls of the people killed in war. A group for psychological help works via telegram. Group meditation is also held. 